Hey, what's up guys? Samurai I am, and welcome to another episode of Maxing with Math. Um, today's episode is actually going to be mining. I wanted to go um, kind of combine with last week's episode of smithing, since mining and smithing are kind of two and two. And I think they're probably two of the bigger actual skills that you can do two separate methods to either get it extremely quick or to do a slower method but make a lot more profit. So today, um, I've got two, I guess, normal methods according to CML. Since I am a 10 HP, I do like to involve skillers, I guess, technically. So this first one here is just going to be skiller rates for the actual <coughs> um, 99 uh, mining. But I'm not really going to talk about it. I'm just here to show it. Um, we're going to move on to the mains. This is what CML says to actually do for 99 mining. As you can see, at, from 91 to 99, it's going to be 105k 3 ticking granite. Um, and before that, 3 ticking granite, 3 tick iron, and then 3 rock iron is pretty much the 3 rocks. And just standing in one spot and just clicking it. Uh, so as you can see, you make zero money. Um, it's about 144 hours to do so, but you also get about 1.3 smithing XP if you're using an infernal axe from 61 up because that's when you can use a dragon axe or pickaxe sorry um and then so next we actually have this method here which is blast mining blast mining is I, w I don't say new because it's been a part of Zaya and Zaya has been out for a really long time now but it is a method that a lot more people are actually doing especially with winter Todd it's brought uh, dynamite prices down a lot so it's actually probably a little bit more profitable than it used to be but here are the rates I kept three rock iron up until 75 just because most people uh, more casual people will not be doing three tick iron it is in my opinion one of the harder tick manipulation skills <clears throat> and then so blast mining you want to start it at 75 because it is you do gain or there's an invisible mining boost of 10 levels so at 75 you can actually get rune ore so it's actually a lot of profit once you hit 75 and that's why you want to start at 75 um, it is about as you can see at least from 91 to 99 it's about 700k per hour money wise I'm not sure if it's that much or if it's more or less it's just more of an estimate but I know that's really close because a lot of people are getting rates of 500 600 700k per hour and if you go below that it's going to be lower just because you're not going to be getting as many rune ores as possible so the total hours is going to be just under 200 at these rates. The money you're going to be making is 115 mil. So it's actually really, really good. And looking at fire making XP, you do get fire making XP from actually doing this. And so you get 2.6 fire making XP from, from blast mining. And then the GP per hour that I've been talking about in every other episode is about 2 mil. So if you can make more than 2 mil doing another method, then go ahead and do 3 tick mining. If not, then you definitely want to do blast mining. Doing 2 mil per hour, there's not a whole lot of methods that you can actually do. So this is honestly an extremely great method if you're not using alts. Um, this final method <coughs> that has kind of been <coughs> um, more recent, you could say, but it's only for people who have finished the Karamja Diaries is going to be instead of it's actually going to be the Shiloh Village Gem Rocks. And today on Reddit a user by the name of threw it up. I'm not sure what his actual in-game name is. <coughs> but he posted on Reddit today saying that he did 90 to 99 uh rune crafting or not rune crafting, sorry. Um 90 to 99 mining through Shiloh Village Shamrocks, and I told him, I asked him if I could use his stats and stuff for a video, and he said sure. Um, I'm just crediting him. If you want to check out his stats in detail, go ahead and click the uh, link in the description, and that'll take you to that site. Um, but pretty much what he was saying is he recorded every single gem he took, how long it took him, like, and the average like price per gem and all sorts of stuff. So I used that to come up with these numbers here. So the hours, it's actually going to take about 34 hours longer than blast mining. 
um, but and you also are making nine to ten mil less money but according to him he did find it more relaxing between mother load mine and blast mining and that's how i am i find mother load mine too afk and it's too boring to me and blast mining to me at least is good but uh, gem mining is a nice medium just because it's not a whole lot of actual clicking it's just more mindless clicking instead of concentrating on on blast mining using his own words um, so you're not going to be getting any fire making XP from this. It's just going to be pretty much pure smithing XP from the small infernal axe used from 61 to 75. And I chose 75 um, just because it was about the same range. And I'm sure it's probably relatively similar rates at that point. Um, and as you can see, the GP per hour that you need to make over in order for this method to be profitable is actually only 1.2 mil. Um, I, I say only just because compared to blast mining of 2 mil, um, it's not that much, but honestly like 1.2 mil is, is still kind of hard to make per hour depending on what methods you're going to be using. Um, so I'm just going to do a little TLDW Silver Cooney in the comment section in a few episodes or was last episode. Um, told me that I should do a little TLDW. I'm probably going to put an annotation or something at the beginning of this video to link to this time right now. And it'll just be here. But, um, so TLDW, if the best method to do for XP is going to be 3 tick granite. But if you can make over 2 mil, if you can't make over 2 mil per hour, go with blast mining from 75 to 99. You're going to be making over that. And you're also going to get be getting 2.6 mil fire making XP. And if you want a less uh, concentration method, then go with gem rocks. And that's if you can't make over 1.2 mil per hour doing another method, go with this. Also, um, just to add on, one thing I definitely forgot to talk about in this video um, was motherload mine. And motherload mine is probably about the same GP. Uh, per XP that you're going to be getting with blast mining, but it's definitely not going to be as good even though it is somewhat AFK. A lot of people do it, but in my honest opinion, you should not be doing it. Definitely go with blast mining or literally any other method in this video. That's all I needed to add right there. I'm sorry this episode is a few days late. Uh, it might come out today, which is Tuesday. Um, that's all I have for this episode. It's actually going to come out Wednesday. Um, it is a few days late. I've been extremely busy with some IRL things, and so I could not get this out Sunday, unfortunately. But um, if you do enjoy the video, leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and go ahead and suggest another um, suggest another skill I should do next because I'm not sure which one. I I've got a few in mind, but if you guys have any ideas, if you guys want to see any next Sunday, definitely let me know and I'll definitely do them as long as I don't get a ton of different suggestions. And I will see you guys in the next video.